Hello viewers. I have uh, installed ESXi operating system in my previous video and I have created a virtual machine called Node 1 and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 version. Okay. So here is the VM which I have created so in order to install the operating system in this VM I'm going to launch a console so just right click on that VM and click open console okay so here there are many options uh, you have to click on this option here you would be able to see option connect from ISO MS local disk connect from hard device connect iso image on a data store <coughs> excuse me so since uh, i'm going to load this os from the local iso and this option is grayed out right now so i need to power on the system and once i power on the system i will be able to see uh, that option is enabled okay so here you are able to see that option is enabled now connect to iso image from local disk i just select that i have kept the iso in my desktops so i'm just going to select that and now if you just click on that you would be able to see disconnect from this location that means that iso has been attached so in order to boot the system I'm going to press Control alt insert okay so now you are able to see that ISO is able to find by this VM profile so there are many options here install or upgrade the existing system install system with basic drivers rescue install system boot from local drive and memory test so since i'm going to install this uh, new uh, operating system i'm going to select the first option okay so in this section there are two options one is uh, it is asking for okay if you do uh, okay uh, what it will do the, the ISO uh, which is attached to that VM it will going to check the ISO and check for each and every file if there is any uh, corruption in that ISO and uh, if that is there in that ISO you will not be able to continue and uh, it will take a lot of time to check that ISO file so since I'm sure that ISO is uh, okay and there is no correction corruption on that so I'm just going to skip that for now okay so now you have this screen just press next and select the language which you wanted to use I have select English and and also the keyboard type which keyboard type you are going to use it is using English default I'm going to go with default next there is an option for the storage device are you going to use FCA SCSI uh, storage type or the basic storage type so I'm going to use the basic storage type and select next this warning message is nothing but the disk which is uh, attached to this VM and it is giving a warning saying that all the files and data if there is any will going to uh, discard everything so since there is nothing I'm going to install a new virtual machine here so I'm okay with this 
option here if you have uh, here you need to specify the host name so I have created this VM profile name as node 1 so I'm giving the same host name here and select next in this option in this section it is about the uh, time zone default it is America New York um, currently in India so I'm just going to select SA Calcutta here you need to specify the root password and select next it says the uh, root password is weak okay so in this section you'll be able to see use all the space replace existing Linux system string current system use free space and create custom layout so since I'm going to create my OS file system customize I, I wanted to customize those OS file system so I'm going to use this option okay here is the disk 16 GB which uh, I have selected while creating this profile so now I'm going to create file system under this location you have to click on create okay there are many uh, there are few options here first one is standard partition rate partition and logical volume partition so I'm going to create a standard partition for slash boot uh, since slash boot uh, does not support LVM I'm going to create that slash boot as standard partition so select standard partition and click create and specify the mount point and file system type and 200 MB size is more than enough for boot so I'm just creating ok ok here's the boot partition is created with 200 MB so free space is 16 183 MB so I'm going to create rest of the partition so click on create now you have an option LBM physical volume so I'm going to create that root VG uh, where uh, this operating system is going to install and that root VG should be uh, LBM formatted so that's why I'm going to create a physical volume now and I have to select full maximum allow allowable size so what are the fees free size you can see here 16 183 it will take everything click on ok so the physical volume has been created so it is 16 183 so click on create again so now you have option for LVM volume group so I'm going to create a volume group and specify the volume group name as root VG so how much physical extent you need default is 4 MB if you wanted to increase the extent you can go ahead for now I'm just specifying as 4 MB okay inside this root VG volume group I need to create uh, the partition the minimum partitions are slash uh, slash boot slash boot already has been created as you can see here and the third one is uh, swap so I'm going to create a slash partition here in mount option specify the slash and give the name for that LV and I'm giving 15 GB so click OK OK so this minus option doesn't support it seems so I have to give root underscore LV OK so root LV has been created with 15,000 MB 
and I need to create the swap partition so I'll, create, I'll just click on add and select swap here so this mini size are free on that disk so I'll just change the name as swap underscore LV okay so swap LV and root LV has been created so just click on ok so these are the partitions you have created uh, first is slash where this operating system is going to install and slash boot where this uh, boot related or uh, the kernel related files will going to resides and the third one is swap okay so just click on next it is just giving you uh, and warning message that this partition is going to format and if you have any data that will wiped out so just ignore that and say format and this one as well write disk to disk so th those partition which you have created those are now creating and formatting as LVM okay so in this section you'll be able to see in which partition you are going to install your bootloader so default is it is saying slash dev sda uh, if you want to change it you can change it from here like this so i'm just going to use the default one slash dev sda and also if you wanted to set some bootloader password you can specify the bootloader password here okay and and bootloader opening system is going to install in this root vg root lv partition click on next Okay, in this section you will be able to see basic servers and database servers if you are installing MySQL servers or database Oracle then you will probably like to go with database servers and if you are using web servers, HTTP servers you will probably need to use web servers and in this below section there are few options regarding clustering packages if you wanted to use the system as a cluster you would be able to uh, use you would be able to install this file resilient storage and uh, others other packages like high availability load balancer so since this system is a basic operating system i'm not going to install cluster on this so i'm going to go with the basic server and here there are two options called customize later and one is customize now if you wanted to customize the package now you can select this customize now option and select next and you'd be able to see the packages under base system is going to install these are the default option which is checked here and if you want additional packages to install you can select for now uh, I need this system as uh, GUI so I need X elements to be installed that's why I need to select that so in uh, desktop section you'll be able to see X Windows system and uh, legacy X Windows system compatibility click on that I think yeah these two options are enough so under this you would be able to see how many packages are going to install here okay so if you want to if you need this package you can select like this okay so in x windows there are 12 packages out of that 11 packages is going to install so 
so this one is not required it seems that's why it has not selected so anyway I'll go with the default one okay so I'll say next here it is checking for the dependency uh, those packages is going to install and whether those dependency are available in that ISO the installation process is going to start in a minute okay so it has started the progress for installation there are 786 package which is going to install on the system and uh, this will going to take about 10 minutes so for now I'm going to pause this video and resume back once it is completed okay so installation has been completed all these packages are installed so once it is installed you would be able to see this screen and in this screen it says to reboot the system so I'm just going to click on reboot and this will going to reboot the system okay so system is going down now and it is going to reboot I just need to ensure that ISO has been it is still connected so it's not a problem you can disconnect it from here if you don't want it to okay so system is booting here you can see the progress it is loading if you wanted to see in background how it is loading just uh, press escape or arrow down arrow button okay so I, I press escape button so you are able to see how the process are being getting started okay so in this section you would be able to see the authentication method so I'm not going to configure anything so just going to say quit and you have the screen for login and username is root password is that so in this way you can install the operating system Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 and I hope this video is informative for you thank you for watching